The cold is a absolute doorway to the soul. There is so much unnecessary suffering in the world. We take pills, kill the symptoms, but not the cause. And apparently we cannot become happy, strong and healthy. Hey, I know the way. Cold is merciless, righteous. It brings you direct in the depth of yourself. You're not thinking. Your emotions stop. You are just surviving. And it brings you in the purity of the physiology as well as the soul. And you get in a different plane than our conditioning. And that makes you a free man. What's special about Wim is that he kind of has this mind over body control that's pretty phenomenal. When he uh, is exposed to the cold, his body just physically reacts differently from a lot of other people. Right now, I'm holding 26 uh, Guinness World Records and all uh, related to extreme cold. My records range from staying in the ice for one hour, 53 minutes in direct contact with the ice, running fastest half marathon barefoot, climbing Kilimanjaro in record time in shorts, swimming underneath the ice for the longest distance. Lim is a very special person. He has an aura to him that is very positive energy, but what you can see when he begins to breathe he has the ability to focus his mind and body together in a higher function than most can do. I created a method. The components are breathing, mindset, and cold exposure. Gradual, non-forced cold exposure. And that's to optimize the mind-body connection. Wim has figured out ways, namely through breath work and through exposure to cold, to take conscious control over aspects of his physiology that for most people, they simply can't tune into and control. The cold, my warm friend, it brings about a whole lot of more energy and that uh, together with breathing makes you so powerful. But then you lose your wife and it all rumbles down. Four children I had with my wife, and I was to be with her forever. She was the love of my life. She died. She suicided. It's a, it's a black hole within yourself. It breaks your heart, and you don't know why, but the train of a daily life is going on, and you gotta catch up, otherwise you lose it. So I had to be there for my children. And yes, we created a new nest. My children made me survive in that uh, time, but uh, nature healed my wounds. The cold gave me a direct understanding of deeper breathing and how to heal a broken heart. Then I went and did all kinds of remarkable challenges. Apparently, they found it very remarkable and great and spectacular. So I came in contact with television. One after the other, they challenged me more, 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 more. Hey, go swim 50 meters under the ice. Go uh, swim 100 meters under the ice. Climb Mount Everest in shorts. That led up that the scientists became curious. Hey, what this man is doing is not possible physiologically. The science of what Wim Hof Method does is one of the primary interests of my lab now because it is so powerful and it's been shown to be powerful in the immune system. And we believe it will also hold some real potential for treatment of neurologic diseases. And this breathing technique brings you right into the deepest part of our physiology. Anybody can do it. So you become the alchemist of your own chemistry. Let's do this. Just breathe in. I let it go. Fully in. We become alkaline. More oxygen is getting in toward all cells. Then the alkalinity makes the chemistry 
right in our body. And then we are able to take a last inhale after 30, 35 of these breaths. Deeply in, letting go and you stop. The Wim Hof Method is neither distress nor eustress, thrilling. It's somewhere right in between where I believe adrenaline is high and cortisol is low, which gives the, the person who's doing the method this incredible feeling of well-being and control over their own physiology and mental state. Why I teach this method? To show that with a simple method, out of nature, we are able to tackle the greatest problems, which is depression, fear, anxiety, and pain. People with chronic pain. That's all unnecessary suffering going on, and all this industry is keeping on and say, yeah, that's normal, and I think that's sick. If it turns out that non-ingestible approaches, such as breath work or cold exposure, can approach some of the potency that medications can provide or have failed to provide, then it's quite possible that one can heal from the inside. Guess what? We found the proof to tap into our body and mind, enabling us to become happy, strong, and healthy. <laughs>